Hi everyone, this is Yvonne Montes and welcome to my guided meditation and tonight we're going to be addressing healing generational patterns. And I'm welcoming Linda as well. Hello, hello. We have just started right on time. And so tonight's theme is uh, generational patterns healing. Now, I would like you to kind of like look for yourself. What does that look like for yourselves? Like that when I talk about generational patterns. So for me, it's just like an easy one that I can identify right away. I could see in my family that everyone has to mind their own business like don't share with your business with your neighbors with friends with you know the whole world because somebody's gonna be there to get you okay and i totally get it my grandparents my parents you know grew up in a communist society where people would kind of like spy on each other and then they would go to the police with whatever you know stuff like that and you end up in jail so you know and for myself, it's like I still have that a little bit of like, maybe I shouldn't be sharing something, right? Um, and, I, I, and I don't trust people. So that's it, like I'm holding back and I'm like, it takes me a while to get, you know, that trust with people, okay? It's something that I'm conscious, I'm aware of it. And... Uh, you know the box stops with me like i'm healing this and it doesn't propagate in the next generation okay and we all come from like different countries different backgrounds different parents but you know the way that at energetical level that you could maybe feel it like in in sorry in the logical mind work you observe it in like patterns of speech or you know, the belief system, but at the energetical level is like, there are cords of energy created from one person to another, okay? Now, as I work with people, I don't just cut those cords, okay? If you cut them, they kind of like snap and then they get attached to the people, you know, that both ends kind of thing. But when it's being addressed, when it's healed, when that program, that those thoughts, those beliefs are dissolved, that cord is dissolved as well, and and the energy of it fall, you know, flows to the ground. And tonight, what we're gonna do, we're gonna be healing, we're gonna be looking at these cords, at these energies connecting generations, and. Um, and dissolving those patterns that we could see, those programs, those thoughts, those beliefs, and just allowing them, those energies be, be absorbed by the ground, by Mother Earth to transform. And all that impact, all that charge, that energy left there will also be absorbed by, the, by, the, by Mother Earth. So for yourselves, what are the particular maybe patterns that you could observe that you would like to address, you would like to see them healed? Anyone would like to share? Hey, Yvonne. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple. <laughs> okay. But um, so on both sides of my family, <clears throat> one of the generational patterns of behavior is choosing the wrong person mm -hmm. to marry um, or choosing them for the wrong reasons like you know looks or they're rich or whatever mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'm clear that you know I'm the one who's going to be breaking this generational pattern in my family but um I think it's still at play or the, the idea of, okay, I can't choose the wrong person. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. um, so there's a, that, that block is blocking me from actually meeting the, 
the right person because mm-hmm. I'm so focused on like, okay, I can't marry, I can't meet the, the wrong person because I have to break this cycle. So there's that one. And then the other one that's also, I would like to heal is um, there's like a pattern of uh, the abundance mindset of, of like a lack mindset, I should say, of worrying about money or having money and losing it um mm-hmm. and and coming from this place of there's not enough money um so i i like i want to break that so that i can be the one who generates uh this abundance that can be passed on to the next generation mm-hmm. yeah yeah if that makes sense so the money and the relationships like especially like um, choosing the wrong person or maybe you know think about if there is anything about abusive relationships like that tug and play of the control and the empath like yes care of the empath and the controlling person <laughs> <laughs> that is there on both sides of my family if you look back generations mm-hmm. for sure absolutely yeah yeah for sure Anyone else? Yeah. Uh, hi, Vanessa. Um, for me, it's just, it's breaking uh, generational patterns of definitely of psychological and emotional abuse. Mm-hmm. Um, and also like health health okay yeah yeah on both sides of my family there's heart mm-hmm. disease and it's generational my grandfather died yeah of heart disease my father died of a heart attack all my uncles mm-hmm. I think on both sides have had something so there's something there aside from just not being healthy because on the outside a lot of them look healthy if you know what I mean mm-hmm. No, and absolutely, like in those kind of ports, those kind of programs that go in generations, right? You mm. know, sometimes we observe them in the DNA that, you know, we inherit some, you know, disease, right? But it's like at some point in time, there is like a clock ticking and it kind of triggers an illness in the body and you're not even aware what that is. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay, it's yeah. like it's like the bomb that is gonna explode <laughs> at some time. <laughs> yes, and I don't want that bomb to explode <laughs> yeah. over here with me. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> anyone else wants to share? Um, I could talk. Yeah. Hey, friends, yeah, here. Um, breaking that's the the. the pattern of hard work you know um my my every i guess everybody had that idea of what hard, working hard you have to work hard for the money and you know you have to go and slave over mm-hmm. you know and, and 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 just just having the understanding that you don't have to work hard you don't have to work hard for that you can work passionately you can you know Things can come to you by dedication and love, yes, but you, like that hard work is not everyone is in that. Mm-hmm. And also, my grandfather was a womanizer, so I think that that's a that's a pattern that is in my family. So mm-hmm. um, we need I need to heal that for generations. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. In my family, there's a lot of cancer on my father's side and even my mom, but more on my dad's side. Yep. Uh, I think I inherited that because it keeps happening, but this is it. This is not going to happen anymore. Yeah, totally get that. Now, I don't know if you have any pictures, any photos of you, but the way that we kind of connect with our ancestors right it's through these cords we sometimes kind of see them 
you have disabilities or you just see them in the pictures, like maybe some red lights around or columns. Is there um, a vital field? That's what kind of what remains around. That's where that energy is stored. Okay, not like it's bad or wrong or anything, but you know, they still need to heal something. And most of the time that attachment that creates is they're attached to something. And when we heal ourselves, when we heal that program within ourselves, the same way we can heal it in others, in our ancestors as well. And when we heal that in them, it provides freedom for us and for in, in future generations as well. Okay. So that's what we're looking at, like looking at those patterns and looking at those chords. If, you know, maybe some of you might see them or feel them or, you know, hear them and just release that program, letting it go and let that energy flow to the ground and heal all these people that you know, have had some attachment or, you know, we are still feeling somehow attached to them, especially, you know, parents, grandparents, right? The ones that we know at least, okay? Now, why nine generations? Because that's what we're gonna be doing. What we're gonna addressing, we're gonna address the healing in nine generations. Why nine? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Well, it's something that has been present in lots of cultures. Lots of cultures speak about this nine generations healing. There is a certain cycle that happens. Okay, that every nine generations, there is kind of like a reset. There's something there happening that, you know, it's elevated in some way. Okay. All right, so, hmm. Let's get going. And I'm going to invite everyone to take a, to just inspect your surroundings, that you're in a safe place. I'm going to put everyone on mute. And you may want to start by shaking your body gently and see if you can find that comfortable position where you're sitting or standing or lying down. You may want to find that gentle way, that sway back and forth a little with your eyes closed. And try to get a sense of where your center of gravity is, below your belly button. And now allowing your eyes relax and taking a nice, full and cleansing breath and breathing out and completely as you can. And again, taking a gentle, slow, deep, even, full breath. And exhaling as fully as you can, comfortably can, slowing it down. Breathing in again, slowly, gently, evenly. And this time imagining that you are inhaling this magical supply of energy in your breath. This magical supply from all around you. from the source of your energy, your love and light. And perhaps seeing in it sparkling micro dots of color, or maybe waves, veils of colors, or maybe hearing a subtle hum as it dances into your body, Or perhaps just feeling on the inside that subtle energy moving into you, relaxed. 
relaxing, releasing, softening up all the tensions, all the discomforts. And with the exhale, sensing this energy dispersing all through your body, moving into each and every corner and all the way to the tips of your fingers and the very ends of your toes, just feeling this subtle, tingling magic traveling all through your body. And again, breathing in, and then releasing it all through your body when you exhale, feeling more and more that delicate dancing presence of this energy as it moves through your body. And again, breathing in as you exhale, feeling it as it moves toward any place that might be a little denser or darker or heavier drawn toward any place that may feel blocked or uncomfortable or tight. And sensing it gently surrounding these places. Softening them up, loosening them, massaging and opening them up. And perhaps feeling that heavier energy, that heavier places beginning to shift and move and dislodge, beginning to break free, slowly at first, but then faster and easier. And with each breath, we allow the outside world to distance itself and we become more and more aware of ourselves, of our internal balance. And each new breath helps to move along gently and easily this flow neither pushing nor pulling, just a gentle invitation to float along free. All its tightness, discomfort or blocks, floating gently, releasing through the bottom of our feet, And let's inhale this magical, wonderful energy. And this time, you are bringing in the ruby ray and calling on the governor of the ruby ray. With iridescent, golden, shimmering light, inviting it in your body, and especially in the area of your basal chakra, Muladhara, opening up and energizing, revitalizing this chakra, and elevating its energy to just right where you are in this moment of your life, in this present. So this chakra provides all the nutrients, all the sustenance that your body needs. 
and it releases all attachments of power, all conversations of scarcity of money, all conversations of scarcity, of not enough energy, Then we can allow this energy flow freely, connecting us through the legs and the bottom of our feet with Mother Earth, releasing all that no longer serves, all attachments to control and power. Let's take another deep breath in and allow a new orange ray. Bright orange, pure, vibrating with this clear vibration, this clear orange of creativity of sexual energy of regeneration, regeneration of the entire physical body of all organs, of all cells, and bringing this orange bright ray in the second chakra Svadhisthana the center of balance underneath your belly button. And we may even feel that opening up, expanding, elevating its vibration, cleansing all blocks, cleansing all programs of illness, of the physical body, providing new energies, new programs for your body to find its own balance and heal. And let's allow this worm flow through the entire body and all that is no longer useful can be released through the bottom of our feet to the ground. And now, let's take another deep and gentle breath in. And on, on this breath, let's welcome the yellow, bright yellow energy. And the governor of the yellow rain in our solar plexus. In the area of our stomach, warming it up like a sun. And we can feel that vortex of energy opening up. Providing us the safety. And releasing the fears and the tightness. Releasing all programs of survival. no longer useful, and just keeping all that is necessary for this era, for this environment where you are, with a calming, confident presence, radiating, 
throughout your body and expanding. As far as you can imagine. And we may even sense at this point behind us aligning all of our ancestors, either on this earth or past, as a pyramid forming behind. and all the children and grandchildren ahead of us. We're already starting to send that healing, this releasing of all that is no longer useful. Allowing that peace and ease to know they are safe and their world is at peace. Now let's take another deep breath in and let's welcome the green ray of healing energy and the governor of healing energy directly into our heart. And we may even see or sense or smell that freshness, that lush green of vegetation, of rebirth. of healing, the deep greens of the forest and the pine smells, or the lighter greens of the meadows and the fragrances, the aromas, sweet of lemongrass and wildflowers. Soothing our heart and all the sorrows and all the hurt. And releasing all the hurt, all the abuse, all the pain. And releasing it to the ground, allowing Mother Earth to transform it into new energy. It's bringing up new life. Bringing love, compassion and kindness where the sorrows are gone. And this healing energy, healing the heart and circulatory system, healing the mental body with just, and releasing all programs, all thoughts and beliefs no longer useful no longer of service. And welcoming just one word we can clearly see imprinted in our mental body. Life and aliveness. Life. present in all that green, intense 
beautiful, opening up your heart, allowing this vortex of love, of light, warming up your chest, expanding as far as you can imagine. And now, let's welcome the cleansing energy of the blue ray, the sky, blue, cleansing energy and the governor of the blue ray. And direct it into our throat chakra. And we can feel it opening up, allowing our voice, allowing the truth being spoken authentically as it springs right from the heart, free. And this cleansing blue light, the color of the sky is removing all energy, all negative energy, dissolving all programs of attachment, all thoughts, all beliefs of attachment. to others, no longer healthy, of all attachments from past eras, of power and control, of abuse. Elevating our spiritual bodies, elevating our expression of love. We may even feel that vortex spinning with power and strength, energized, and healing. the thyroid and all the organs. They're releasing just the right amount of energies that our bodies need. Creating this beautiful hormonal balance Balancing the thyroid. And now, let's take a new deep and gentle breath in and welcome. The indigo ray in the middle of our forehead, opening up our intuition, our perception, our listening, creating this beautiful flow, this balanced flow right in the middle of our forehead, and we may even feel that 
forehead opening up, warming up, relaxing. And we might start even seeing these glimpses of colors, these veils of energy, and especially this indigo array connecting us with the future. Connecting us with all the possibilities, all the gifts that the future brings. Infinite. Connecting us with all the gifts of heaven available to us on earth. Creating relationships. Creating new health. Creating new abundance. Connecting with those like-minded with those vibrating at the same energy where we are in a world of possibility, in the world of gifts. Allowing ourselves being guided by this intuition, opening up and trusting our listening, trusting our senses. When we connect with others, when we connect with new situations, with new events in our lives, with new actions, And as this chakra opens up, let's allow all that is no longer useful release, all concerns or worries about the future. All thoughts, emotions, creating any boundaries, any limits about what is possible for our life now. And as this chakra opens up, we can feel this energy is flowing and we may even feel that it is in our eyes and sinuses and even a change of pressure around our head. And even our hearing becomes more intense, picking up signals and voices that otherwise we would ignore. Picking up all these all openings to new doors providing this clarity of new possibilities opening up widely. Either they are in relationship or business and finances or health. and bringing our way all this new information that we need to hear, all this new wisdom that we need now. And 
And with a new and gentle breath in, let's allow the violet rain open up the crown chakra of our head. And we may even feel that opening, releasing the pressure on the, the top of our head. Allowing this connection with all the in, with the entire universe, with all beings. Allowing this violet ray elevate us to just where we need to be in balance in this moment of our life. Creating new relationship with our own spirituality in a new way at a new level, closer. And as we inhale these wonderful rays, elevating our physical, mental, emotional, spiritual body, Let's connect ourselves through the bottom, through our legs and the bottom of our feet with Mother Earth. Being grounded, planting our feet deep in Earth. While we can allow ourselves rise up and elevate and we can notice all of these wonderful colors blending in the pure bright shimmering white light is expanding as a sphere from inside out as we absorb energy from the source of love and light from all of these governors of rain, ruby and orange and yellow in green, in blue, in indigo and violet. Creating this wonderful rainbow. Blending in harmony in a bright, sparkling, intense white energy. And just like so, we can see all of this leaves falling on the outside of this sphere down to the ground. And either these leaves could be of scarcity or limitations of not finding the right people. Or it could be that we don't have enough skills. Or it could be of abuse and controlling power. of hard work
of disrespect, of illness, of our physical body. They're all falling down to the ground, allowing this bright energy expand even further, embracing our children and grandchildren. And allowing all of these attachments, all these beliefs, fall off. And with each breath, we become stronger, more powerful. This white, bright light, more intense. And we can look behind and we can send this powerful, white, bright light to our parents. And we can hear and see and feel all of these beliefs thought, emotions, energy is no longer useful, falling off them, allowing them a new freedom and ease and peace. And we can expand it even further to our grandparents. And allowing this energy expand even further to their parents, our great grandparents. And the fourth generation behind them. As we take deep breath, expanding this energy field, reaching further and further with just the same intensity and power, cleansing, releasing all attachments, freeing them. for all abuse and control for me, from all the hurt and suffering. Allowing them heal. And this weightless feel is floating sensation we may feel in our body, they too can feel it, that release, that freedom, the lightness, the brightness. And we can expand further to the fifth generation. And further to the sixth generation. further to the seventh generation. And further to the eighth and the nine. And we can see this giant sphere expanding further and further with the same strength and power and the same brightness, releasing all that is no longer useful, all that is no longer of service, all thoughts, emotions, 
all the leaves of scarcity, of abuse, of control, of illness, of struggle. All that's creating suffering and unhappiness is being released and we can see them. Elevating, rising up. Freed up. And I invite you now to expand even further to all communities where all these patterns, all these thoughts have been learned in all generations, releasing the abuse, the control, the disrespect of life. Releasing all hurt, all fear, all attachments. From all communities where we come from, all around the globe in all cultures and skin colors and as all these programs are released we can see just bright light And they might have different colors. Unique and beautiful, freed up. All in harmony. Living in this freedom. And let's take a moment and take a deep breath in and enjoy this peaceful moment of harmony, of balance, creating new relationship with health, with our own body. Taking back that power for ourselves. Finding this place of comfort, of balance. Of trust and connection, allowing our intuition Connect us with all wisdom we need, with all people that are just right in this moment of our life, opening the door to them, providing us their healing and love and care partnering up, collaborating, exchanging energy, freely, with generosity, with kindness, with peace, and trust. Having this wisdom, we're all one.
And as we grow, all those around us grow. And as we heal, all those around us heal. And as we feel this happiness, all these around us feel that too. Feel this deep joy of life, this deep sense of calm and peace and happiness. Enjoying this present moment just the way it is. Perfect. And let's take a moment and allow this connection integrate in each and every cell of our body, in each and every thought and emotion. Moving forward with a new freedom and confidence. With a new light, bright, ahead of us. And this place is so enjoyable and so wonderful, and we may return here each time when we need it. For just resting and relaxing, or creating something new, new adventures. or just heal something, or understand the wisdom that we need. This place is available to us each time we call upon it. And we may want to stay here longer. Or it may be time to return to our conscious awareness and integrate this healing, this energy, this wisdom that we receive with us here now. And as we allow this energy settling down, let's wiggle our toes gently. And swaying our body left and right. Or forward. And stretching your arms. And you may want to take a moment and place them upon your heart connecting with this very moment. Move your head side to side and open your eyes and you are now fully present. Thank you everyone and I want to check on everyone how's doing, how are you?